trombones. I'm making a video now for number 58, the Hard Rock Blues. And uh, so this one, we're going to repeat. It's got some tricky rhythms in it. I'm going to sing for you the silly lyrics, the words that Mrs. Smith made up with her kids a couple years ago. It's called the cheese song. They call this the cheese song. They made up these silly words. I think that they're helpful for learning the song. If you sing this to yourself, then it'll make it easier when you try to play it. So it goes like this. Do you have any cheese? Rest, rest, rest. Do you have any cheese? Ch -ch -ch -ch. I don't have any cheese. Do you have any cheese? I like cheddar cheese. Cheddar, please. Do you have any cheese? That's the words for the cheese song. Of course, you would repeat it because there's a repeat sign, but I'm going to use this time instead to play the song for you. I just want to mention, when you get to the bottom line of the song, that's where there's a tricky part. In most of this song, you play, and then you have three counts of rest. Two, three, four, right? Three counts of rest. But on the bottom line, the second measure of the bottom line, there's only two beats of rest. So you play on beat one, then rest, rest, and then play on beat four, and. Four and one, two, three, or do, day, do, 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 right? So you have to play it. Bum, 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 rest, rest. Bum, 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 right? You're playing E flat to F and then up to the high G, fourth position, but up high, so your lips have to be tighter. Uh, more air support here, tighten up your stomach muscles, and blow the air down towards your chin to get that high G to pop out, right? So you get that. Right, so that's on the bottom line you're going to do that. Okay, I would say practice it slowly first. For you guys, there's a lot of parts on this where you have to really do your slide very quickly from C to B flat and back to C at the beginning, right? C, C, E flat, C, down, C, C, E flat, C, B flat, C, right? That C, B flat. Right there, you have to bring your slide in quickly, but you don't want to slam it in and that's not good. You don't want to do that and that'll hurt, hurt your mouth. Um, so, and it can hurt your instrument. So don't slam it in, but you have to control all the way from sixth position to first position quick. And then you have to get back out to sixth position pretty quick again. Okay, here it goes, ready? So practice it slow first, like. practice it slowly like that a few times first. Then you can get a little faster and a little faster. I'm going to do a little faster so it sounds like rock and roll. Like, do, do, ka, do, 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 ka, do, do, ka, do, 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 ka. One, two, oh, one, two, three. how it goes. Uh, practice it slow first, then get it up to speed, and then when we eventually do this for a concert, we'll probably have somebody playing that drum set, so having that drum beat in the background, right, to give it that hard rock blues feel. Maybe we'll write a background part too uh, to make it sound more like a bluesy rock. Okay, that's it for the hard rock blues. See you guys practice, and I'll see you soon.